Um, let's go. So, if there is one thing I like about this game. So, if there is one thing I like about this game. It's the fact that they had a really good build up of all the jump scares. The camera transitions, the darkness. The fact that you're in the middle of the woods. An seemingly endless wood. Uh, sorry. A seemingly endless forest. All you have to do is to keep your composure. But the game does its best to scare the shit out of you. So, yeah, a cemetery. Why am I doing this? I... What is going on with this place? So, one thing I'd also like to know is this game has a lot of potential for hidden jump scares, like this mausoleum thingy. Someone could beg on the door or jump scare you right as you approach the door and the ominous crows I really love the distortion and the grainy camera effect as well. The devs did a really good job with the visuals. Yeah. Let's see how calm we'll be once the jump scares will start. Alright. Should get dark soon. And the alarm will start. And the obligatory dog will bark. Yay! I should not be happy about it. Yeah. It is getting dark. Good. Yay! I am in pitch darkness. That's the alarm. What do you have in store for me today, game? What kind of scares can you offer me to know? Am I going to see Baba Yaga? Am I going to see... I died laughing. Well, fuck you, game. Well, it serves me right for not watching my tone. Anyway, I was on my way to the cemetery. And yes, I will ignore the dead body over there. Bed and graves in the middle of the woods. That should be ominous. Ominous is all hell. God, I really hope my microphone is picking me up. It would suck. It's going to cut off. I should really be watching my tone. I don't want to die again. Or to fail again. Imagine if I do like a Markiplier intro, as in, the first night is never usually that bad, and right in the middle of my sentence I'll get jump scared. Maybe I'll do it as an intro to the series. Uh, yeah, you can get jump scared from this mausoleum. And the bodies on the plane would fall off right as you pass through them. The 
abandoned farm could suddenly open up, sound the horn. Raccoons can jump from the trash can. This game has a lot of potential. Plenty of good ideas to use. And also the fact that it lets you play with the calibration and set to your heart's desire. Gives you a good degree of flexibility. Nice choice, developers. Okay, so. Flying torso. Australian spiders. Screaming demon. Baba Yaga. Am I going to see? The visage of ghostly Sarah. Build suspense. Catch me off guard. I'm gonna scream like a bitch. Yeah. It's kind of dark. Dark here. as possible so the mic won't cut off while on the other hand keeping in roads or keeping my composure and not scream or yelling too loudly I am interested though if I would take this to the extreme any gas any sudden breath I really want to try it on the extreme level, but I think it would be boring. It would be far better if I would keep talking. Make the time pass. We would not make it as boring. Do I want to open the door? Imagine if this door would suddenly open up and something would scream at you. That would have been a good jump scare. Am I going to see Baba Yaga tonight? It's a Fuck you, okay? Since I don't have a webcam, you can't see my reaction. I rail, but some of these actually make me jump in my seat. Like, he's catching me off guard, but not as much as it would make me yell or scream. It just startles me. Last night, I was able to finish the game. I was able to last the whole 8 minutes. Can I make it again? This is such an eerie atmosphere. It really makes a good build up for the next jump scare. So, what is it going to be? so. Shadow fig. Hey, don't stop fighting. Okay, that was a deer. He is precious. He should be protected. Talking kind of alleviates the stress or the ominous feeling this wood has. So it was me, IRL. Oh, you! 
bastard. You bastard. Okay, that was new. Fucking elk. Fucking elk got me. God damn it. Okay. Third attempt. Fucking elk. Scared. Can I make it to the cemetery this time? Without getting jump scared by a fucking elk. <laughs> okay, so. That was new. I never saw the elk before. It also, like, my sixth playthrough, so. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this game has a lot of hidden tricks up its sleeve. I hope I get to see them all. And truly appreciate all the effort you, the devs put in this game. So far, I am loving it. I really love this experience. I'm curious though, how did my protagonist? Ended up in this wood. In these woods, sorry. Hey, there's the door from previous game. What's their goal? What's their end? Were they a part of a documentary team that suddenly was detached from, from their group? Or are they stuck in this forest? Are they independent filmmaker for a documentary oh no oh no abandoned homestead last time it wasn't that bad like there were a few paranormal things doors opened the ball flew over I really don't know what the devs had in stock. And yeah, it is full of crap. God damn. Yeah, if something would have jumped out, that would have made it so good. Any mail for Mr. and Mrs. John Jumpscare? Nope. If I record, jump from the trash can. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. There's the good stuff. Dark. Yeah, there's the good Don't flash. Don't flash. These flashes also. I had a potential jump scare, which in of itself scared the shit out of me. Of this distortion, the sewing machine and suddenly. <laughs> would have jumped at me. I would have screamed. I am not even kidding. I would have screamed. Something pop off its murky waters. A door can slam at random. Yeah, this there is a lot of hidden potential. And a lot of different ways can use but it's good to live in shit up on the one hand I really want to find out about jump scares that I can find in yeah a few balls 
really want to find out what other jumps can this house can have. On the other hand, I'm curious to see what the forest has in store for me. Really not going to open up this time. Oh, what a bummer. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, that got me good! Fuck! God damn it! Okay, I do not want to go to the cemetery this time. Homestead or the main? I still. I have my microphone connected. Shut up, game. Don't make me yell at you and lose the game. Okay, so there was a plane crash around here, which looks pretty nasty. Okay, looks like it happened quite a while ago. Nasty crash. Other On the one hand, I'm really curious to see what other scare this game has this game has in stock or this game has to offer. But on the other hand, I am not looking forward to that, like I love it and I hate it at the same time. You did an absolutely fantastic job with the ambience and the build up. God damn it. I can't believe I died with that jump scare. So, yeah. Nasty bank by side. Quite a while ago, there was nothing in the box. Just stay and wreckage. God knows what else that's roaming in this forest. Yeah, the jump scares are pretty. Finding new ways to scare me. The astronaut was cool. Yeah, I got a sign. I am about to make a terrible mistake and follow it. Or shoot up. But, but again. I'm really curious though. Are they rendering the entire area in one go? Or do they do it in a volume in a certain volume around? Or only where I can see things? Now, last time the fucker in the bathroom got me. Curious, is it like a permanent encounter or was it randomized? Oh, yeah, the ominous blood stain. Yeah, ominous blood stain. Yeah, the ominous shopping cart. The lamest, cheapest jump scare ever. Just popped up my face and then I. Shopping cart. Where are you? You are not.
one of these bodies come to life or suddenly start convulsing or screaming there is going to be sent screaming imagine what around the dead of night it's pitch black there is nothing else in this area to these ominous bodies and around all of a sudden oh okay that's the exit I don't want to go yet so as I was saying we are roaming this area scared shitless this ominous ambience all of a sudden one of the bodies just scared the ever living shit out of him Scare me a second time. Oh, such a big jump scare. I can't believe it actually got me. I think this is actually a fixed event. speed is slow and it definitely contributes the vibe. I'm trying to think about things to say but <laughs> I'm stressed. Like yeah, this game actually had me anxious. I am so looking forward to the next care and I really do hope my mic is or OBS is picking up my mind because I actually want this to be Screen. Am I going to find myself in front of a tree? God, I'm so uneasy right now. Really don't know. What is about to happen? Those mannequins? If I was Markiplier, I would scream. Oh, someone's been nominated. God, if one of these would suddenly start moving. Again, there is so much potential in this game. Literally, devs have a jump scare sandbox just waiting to be used. I am so looking forward to seeing you're going to do with the game. Yeah. Oh, 
Jason's voices. Just remember, nothing can hurt me. It can only scare me. I can scare the pants off. That's about it. So, how are you people doing? sip of water, but I'm afraid that if I'm going to drink, I'm gonna get jump scared at the worst possible moment, then I'm gonna choke on my water. jump scare. Here we go. You can barely see it. All of a sudden, messed up face shows right in front of me. It scares the shit up. By the way, I am curious. Is there a cheese trap? Like, can you walk in the perimeter of this area? even covered this area as well because in my previous playthrough we've had some really good jump scares in this area god it's so unnerving ring I'm gonna go inside the woods what's the worst that can happen oh yeah I can scream I could get jump scared god if that flying torso will catch me up again Oh, hey, Screamy Mimi. Oh, that's... Wobbler... Sarah? What kind of a woman name? Woman's name starts with W. Shambling Shannon. Yeah. I'm gonna call you Shambling Shannon. Diana yeah, so some of these are not actually scary they're just nerving or at least the first time you see them they catch you off guard or they just raise your anxiety level just a little bit more This was IRL. I would rather die than, than be in this situation. It is so unnerving. It is so scary. You're walking in this forest. She's inhabited with. <coughs> Fuck you. <coughs> Hello, Baba Yaga. Yeah. This is where I laugh. When am I going to see the spiders again? I really miss them. Is that a fucking flying torso? 
God, that got me good last time. Yay! Yeah, back to the convenience. Or should I call it the inconvenience? Yeah, shut up, Baba Yaga. Oh, spider! So, how should I call the Baba Yaga? Should give her a name. Well, we have Shambling Shannon, Decapitated Diana. And Babushka Ludmila. Yeah, Babushka Ludmila sounds good. Babushka Ludmila, the Baba Yaga. Yeah, shut up. Sorry, sorry. I probably insulted you, and you're going to take the revenge. Aren't you? You're going to catch me. At a very inconvenient moment. Scream as loud as you can. Right in my face. Making me. No idea where I'm going. Like the screen is pitch black. I don't know if I'm it's good and I can actually see now or not because I can deal with voices or with random screams in the background. Having a visual cue as well, like something flying right towards my face. No oh, man, yeah, birds hang around. I am there, the Harbinger of War. So, are there any shadow figures around here? I could really do something to my Nook Stop Five submission. Sprain my ankle. Sprain it in this forest. Walking, walking throughout it is scary enough. Actually, being stuck inside this forest, having no way to go or no option to be mobile. God, this is terrifying. This has been a relatively quiet run. I'm probably going to pay for that. Some evil jump scare. Something that would really catch me off guard. And again, the ambience and the general feeling this game gave definitely delivers the fun. Definitely helps to build up the jump scares. The overall spooky vibe of the game. They probably did some extensive testing. Clearly shows. Silence. It is unnerving. Yeah, I am curious though. Is this going to be a winning run? Am I going to be able am I going to be able to keep my composure and not yell? Or one of the random jump scares in this game will actually get to me. I think I'm going to make a series out of this game. Forest huge. It has a lot of mysteries. Plenty of potential jump scares. Can you make it through without screaming? Oh. 
It is too quiet. Yeah, it has been too quiet for a while. Something bad is coming. I have no idea what it's going to be. Oh, okay. Got a sign. got me this way towards the jump okay okay so last time I won I saw a well I don't know if it's canon or it was unique to that specific map I'm really curious Right into a tree. This definitely gave me goosebumps. Oh, oh, you, you almost got me. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so I'm seeing some familiar faces. Hello, how are you tonight? Are you doing well? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you drinking enough water? I can't talk about the things that happened in here too, because otherwise I would get demonetized. Yay, spider! Alright, give me a second. Can I do it? Or am I going to fail? Right? <coughs> oh, god damn it. Am I going to fail? Right at the last stretch. So, this is where the game is going to get nasty. Throw some big things towards me. Yeah. So last two jump scares. Got me in my previous playthroughs. Almost done. Risk it. We talk out loud. Well, well, well. Good morning, world. It has been a terrifying experience. I live to tell the tale. I am ready. <coughs> okay, you are new. <sighs> wow. Okay. This was unique. I saw some new I saw some new scares that definitely had me on edge. All right. GG people.